Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the holiday season with your loved ones. As I'm sitting here filming this video, we have one week left of 2017 and I absolutely cannot believe how fast this year flew by. I know I feel like I say that every single year, but this year especially, it has just gone by way too fast. So with that, this is probably gonna be the last video that I'm gonna be filming on this channel in 2017. So I wanted to quickly wish you guys a happy new year. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to those of you who have shown so much love and support for me in the year of 2017. You have no idea how much I appreciate it and I hope to bring you guys a lot of exciting, incredible content in 2018. All right, so today's video has been a video that was requested by you guys for quite a while now. A lot of you have wanted me to sit down and do a video where I summarize everything that I have been doing to my hair recently because you've noticed that it has been looking a lot longer, a lot healthier and thicker. So I'm gonna be sharing with you 25 insider secrets on how to grow your hair rapidly. No joke, you guys, if you saw what my hair looked like about three to four years ago, you would not even believe that it was the same person. Over the last few years, I've really implemented a lot of incredible products and lifestyle changes into my routine that have directly affected the overall health and growth of my hair. So so today's video is going to be about sharing all of those secrets with you guys. And before I hop into the video, yes, I understand that genetics does play a huge role in the overall health of your hair and the density of your hair and length of your hair. And unfortunately, genetics is something that we cannot control, but there are four things in my opinion that you can control that can really make a huge difference in the way that your hair grows. And the four things to rapid hair growth that you can control are minimizing breakage breakage, minimizing split ends, stimulating the hair follicles, and maintaining proper nutrition. So all of the secrets that I'm going to be talking about in today's video are related to these four things. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So my first secret is to wash your hair less. If your hair is more on the dry side like mine is, I would suggest washing your hair every five to seven days. And if your hair is a lot oilier and your hair tends to get greasy really quick, I would recommend washing your hair every three to four days. If you are an oily hair girl and washing your hair every three to four days sounds absolutely disgusting to you, trust me when I tell you that your hair will get used to it. And over time, your hair will start producing less oil. To hold yourself over between washing Washes, I would recommend just using a dry shampoo. So the reason why you want to extend the wash time in between your hair washing is because if you wash your hair too often, what happens is you strip your hair of its natural oils. Those natural oils are imperative for making sure that your hair is protected, that it's getting all of the nutrients that it needs. So if you're constantly stripping your hair of those nutrients, it's going to become drier and weak over time and it's gonna be more likely to fall out. Another issue that happens is that all of that oil starts to to clog your hair follicles. And again, those nutrients are not going to be able to get to your hair follicles to make sure that they're strong. The key is to find the sweet spot for your particular hair type and go with that. My next tip is to dry your hair with a cotton t-shirt or a towel that is specifically designed for drying hair. I've talked about these towels so many times. These are my aqueous hair drying towels. This is a towel and this is a turban. I use this on my hair when I come out of the shower to dry it and it's super safe. It's made out of this microfiber material that absorbs water really quickly. It doesn't damage your hair. And then once my hair is more or less towel dry, I will put it up into this hair turban and it keeps my hair out of my way and it also helps it dry faster. If you guys don't know, your hair is the most vulnerable when it is wet. If you're using a rough towel to towel dry your hair or some other fabric that is really rough on your hair to dry it, your hair is gonna be more vulnerable to breakage, which we don't want. You wanna gently wring it out with something like this or a soft cotton t-shirt to prevent your hair from breaking. Aqueous hair towels are available on Sephora as well as the Aqueous website. I will link everything that I talk about in this video in the description box below. Another thing that I absolutely swear by and I think has made one of the biggest differences in the overall rate of hair growth that I've experienced and that's using a stimulating scalp oil that I make myself. This is a DIY scalp oil that is meant to stimulate your hair follicles and promote hair growth 
growth. All it is is organic extra virgin olive oil and cayenne pepper. I use the cayenne pepper to infuse the oil for a week and then I strain the cayenne pepper particles from the oil and then I get this beautiful reddish orange infused oil that I use on my scalp every time I wash my hair. I did do a full tutorial on how to make this on my YouTube channel so I will link it down below for those of you who are interested in checking it out. So basically all I do is saturate my scalp with this oil once a week or once every five to seven days before I'm ready to wash my hair and I leave this in my hair for a minimum of six hours. It really stimulates the hair follicles, it gets all the blood circulation going to the scalp. In my opinion, it has really, really helped my hair grow much faster. My next tip sounds a little bit crazy, but I'm telling you it has made such a big difference in the overall health and softness of my hair and I noticed that I've experienced a lot less breakage when I use this trick. This trick is using a deep conditioning mask on your hair when it is dry. So what I will do every five to seven days before I'm supposed to wash my hair, I'll saturate my scalp with a DIY hair growth oil and then the rest of my hair I will coat with this hair mask. You guys know I've been raving about the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask and I swear by that one. I use it so often but I just ran out of it and I threw out my container forgetting that I was supposed to film this video today. So unfortunately my old container is being recycled somewhere in the world. So another hair mask that I love and I tend to alternate once in a while with the Don't Despair Repair Mask is this one by Maui Moisture. It is the Revive and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask for damaged hair. I really love this stuff. It smells amazing. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. And I really like this product because it's also free of a bunch of those bad chemicals that are not good for your hair. So the reason why I think that applying a deep conditioning hair mask to your dry hair works so well is because when your hair is wet, your hair is more porous, which means that it absorbs anything that you put on it much faster. Because your hair is already wet, it is already absorbing a lot of water. So there's not much space left to absorb anything else that you put on it which is why I think when your hair is dry, it may be less porous, but anything that it does suck up, it's gonna suck up from the hair mask. So I feel like when my hair is dry, it absorbs all of the nutrients and good for your hair ingredients way better than when it is wet. And I also leave it in my hair for about six hours or so, the same amount of time that I leave my scalp treatment oil in. And when I go and wash my hair out, my hair just feels so silky and so soft. And I also notice that it is not as brittle when I wash it. It maintains its elasticity much better and it's less prone to breakage. Another tip that I swear by is sleeping on a satin pillowcase. Now the reason why I love this tip is because sleeping on a satin pillowcase reduces the amount of friction against your hair. If you guys don't know, every time your hair rubs against a shirt or something rough or against your pillow, you are causing friction against your hair and friction over time can weaken your hair and cause your hair to split and break off. A satin pillowcase has a more slippery surface, so your hair is not going to be rubbing against the pillowcase so much overnight. So overall, it's gonna be much healthier for your hair and it's gonna minimize breakage and split ends. Next is a tip that I practice and swear by all the time. It is wearing your hair down as much as possible. I did mention that whenever your hair is rubbing against something, it tends to cause friction and friction can weaken your hair and cause breakage and split ends but it is a lot more damaging to your hair if you're constantly pulling it up into a ponytail and wrapping a hairband around your hair. First of all, pulling your hair back constantly is going to loosen the hair shaft from the hair follicle, causing your hair to fall out more often. And also tying a really tight rubber band around your hair constantly can weaken your hair in the area that you tie it and cause it to break over time. All right, so on those occasions where you do wanna tie your hair into a ponytail or a bun, I would recommend investing in to these little crunchies or elastics. These are called the Invisibubble, the traceless hair ring. So a little package like this is supposed to come with three hair rings. There's one missing in here because I'm currently using it and it's in my bathroom, but they basically look like this. It's like a clear little ring. You tie this around your hair and it's supposed to minimize the amount of pressure that it puts on your hair. So I'd highly recommend these. I've really been enjoying it and I noticed that I experience less headaches when using these little Invisibubble elastics versus the traditional elastics when I'm putting my hair up into 
into a ponytail or top knot. I'm pretty sure these are available on Sephora and definitely Amazon if you're looking for a more cheaper alternative. Another tip that I've mentioned on my channel many, many times before, and it's something that I practice and preach myself, is to minimize the amount of heat that you apply on your hair. Personally, I only heat style my hair once a week, maybe twice a week if I'm going to an event or maybe if I'm doing just a quick touch up before filming. Constantly applying heat to your hair can weaken your hair over time and make it more prone to breaking and split ends. On the subject of minimizing the amount of heat that you put on your hair, you also don't need to use such a high temperature to heat style your hair. I usually keep my heat styling tools around 290 degrees Fahrenheit. You really don't need a lot of heat to style your hair and make it last a long time. The key to making your hairstyle last a long time is really using amazing heat styling tools. So you guys know that I swear by the Croc Infrared Flat Iron for straightening my hair and I really love the T3 Whirl Trio Curling Wand for curling my hair. I do have a coupon code for Croc, so if you guys want 30% off of the Croc website, you can use the code Nikki30 and that will get you 30% off. Again, I will leave everything down below. So now I want to talk about oils. To strengthen and nourish your actual hair, I would recommend investing in a really high quality hair oil that you can use on a daily basis. I personally really love the way hair oil. I love this stuff. It makes your hair so soft, so shiny. It smells amazing. It's super lightweight, so it's not going to weigh your hair down and it's not going to make it greasy. You need the smallest amount of the stuff. Half a pump for me for my entire head is enough for me and I can't rave about this enough. Obviously, it is very important to take care of your hair and make sure that it is as strong as possible to prevent breakage and split ends. But it is also just as important, if not more important, to stimulate your scalp and strengthen and nourish the new growth that is coming in. And to do that, I have a few oils that I want to share with you guys. These are all scalp nourishing oils that are incredible for the overall health of your scalp. They all balance out the pH level of your scalp, so it will balance out oiliness or dryness if you're experiencing that. It also helps stimulate hair hair growth by bringing blood circulation to the scalp and also feeding your scalp with all of those incredible nutrients that it may be lacking. So one of these scalp oils that I really love is by Jane Carter. This is the Scalp Nourishing Serum. It is a scalp, vortifi forti scalp fortifier. Oh my God, why can't I speak? Fortifier and alleviates dry scalp and it's made with cedarwood oil and soybean oil and a bunch of other incredible oils. You need just a couple of drops of it, massage it into your scalp and and it does wonders. The next scalp oil that I've been obsessed with is by Pretty Simple Honest and Clean Healthy Scalp Botanical Wellness Oil for Dry Itchy Scalp. It looks like this. I'm pretty sure I got this one at Whole Foods. And this one also has a lot of amazing um, oils in it. It has no parabens, no mineral oil, no silicones, no propylene glycol, no ethanolamines, no sulfates, no petrochemicals, no synthetic fragrances, no animal testing, no preservatives. So it's free of a lot of those no-nos basically is what it's saying. And the last one I've mentioned on my channel so many times before, it is the Earth's Nectar Mint Leaves Scalp Oil. Again, you want to use like a spritz of this. I massage it through my fingers and then rub it into my scalp. This is amazing. It has rosemary oil in it. I'm pretty sure these other two have rosemary oil in them as well. If you guys don't know, rosemary oil is amazing for stimulating the scalp and promoting hair growth. All right, so let's go back to how to maintain the overall health of your hair. One of the things that I have been doing religiously on a regular basis is trimming my own ends. The first thing you want to do is invest in a sharp pair of scissors that are meant for cutting hair. These specific ones are made by Goody. And what I do is I work in sections that are about an inch or two in thickness and I weave them through my pointer finger and my ring finger like this. And when these little hairs pop up over my middle finger, I cut off all of the ends that look damaged or split. Now this is a very time consuming process. So I only do this about once a month and I do it while maybe watching a movie or watching a show of mine. Honestly, for me, it's gotten to a point where it's like a pet peeve of mine to see any split ends. So when I do go in and cut my split ends, it feels like therapy. For me, one of the most satisfying things about doing this is brushing my fingers through my hair before I cut my split ends and then brushing my fingers through my hair after I've cut my split ends. And it's literally like a day and night difference. After I cut my split ends, my fingers run through my hair so much easier. So you know that you cut off a lot of wrap on your hair and it just feels incredible. 
And I honestly think that this technique is like the main thing that has helped my hair grow out really healthy. And it also minimizes the amount of times that I need to cut my hair in a year. So it allows my hair to grow out much faster. So with this method, I have to do a big trim on my hair maybe once a year. Whereas before I needed to do it maybe every three months. The reason why cutting your split ends is so incredible is because you get to cut off any dead or split ends before they start riding up your hair because once they start riding up way too high the only way to get rid of those dead ends and split ends is by cutting your hair dramatically and obviously I'm trying to grow my hair out I want to grow my hair as long as I possibly can okay I have a limit I'd like to get it down to my lower back and I want it all one uniform length so this has really been helping me achieve that goal so yeah definitely invest in a good pair of uh, hair cutting scissors and watch some YouTube tutorials on YouTube on how to cut your own split ends before you actually do it so that you make sure you're cutting them properly and are not doing more damage to your hair than without this method the next thing I want to talk about has been another game changer for my hair and that's when I got the Pravana Perfection Smooth Out. Again, I did a whole video on this. Basically what it is, it is a all natural smoothing treatment. It is not keratin. It is 100% safe for your hair and it doesn't straighten your hair unless your hair is more on the naturally straight side. My hair is naturally wavy and all it did was removed all of the frizz out of my hair and it made my hair definitely straighter but it wasn't completely straight. My point is, is that it made my hair a lot easier to manage it made my hair a lot stronger overall it's really helped me out in minimizing the amount of heat that I need to apply to my hair it is an incredible treatment that I highly recommend to anyone who has frizzy hair and the girl that I go to to get it done her name is Yari she's also my hairdresser who does my coloring she's extremely talented and knowledgeable and she is a Pravana ambassador she works with a ton of Pravana hair products which I am obsessed with and she could probably inform you guys about all of the benefits of the Pravana Perfection Smooth Out much better than I can. So I'm going to leave all of her information down below so you guys can check her out. You can send her an email or text if you guys are located in Toronto or in the GTA, if you guys are interested in getting any services done by her. Speaking of coloring, one of the main things that I always mention to make sure that your hair is as healthy as possible is to avoid bleaching it at all costs. Now, I totally understand that some of you you might love to have blonde hair or bleached hair or rocking the platinum uh, silver gray tone trend that is going on right now and that's all fine and that's all cool so if you are bleaching your hair what I would say to maybe extend the amount of time that goes in between bleaching your hair I would recommend using a toning purple shampoo so that you don't have to color your hair so frequently to maintain the look and I'd also recommend doing kind of like a soft maybe balayage or an ombre effect that way if your roots grow out a little bit, it's not gonna be like an absolute necessity to go and get your hair bleached again. And another thing, if you are bleaching your hair, I'd recommend going to a professional who incorporates Olaplex into their dyes. Olaplex is a product that has proteins and, and binders that basically strengthen your hair and it minimizes the amount of damage done to your hair caused by bleach or coloring it in general. And since we're talking about color, you should probably stay away from color as much as possible as well now my hair is colored this is all of my natural hair color up top over here and the way that I maintain my hair and minimize the amount of color that I put on it is I just put some um, light brown balayage throughout my hair so that way when my hair does grow out it looks natural it doesn't look like I need to go to the hair salon right now to get it touched up I can go a long time like four to six months in between touch-ups and that has saved my hair dramatically and also if you are using hair hair dyes on your hair, I'd recommend doing some research and going with products that will minimize the amount of damage done to your hair, like Pravana, for example. My hairdresser only uses Pravana hair colors on my hair. And the reason why I love Pravana hair dye over other hair dyes is because it is oil-based. So it nourishes your hair and it, it minimizes the amount of damage done to your hair from coloring. So this next tip, you guys probably heard me mention a bajillion times on my channel, but I cannot make this video about how to grow your hair rapidly without mentioning it and that is never ever ever to brush your hair when it is wet like i've already mentioned in the beginning of this video 
the video not video your hair is the most vulnerable when it is wet so if you start tugging on it or pulling on it when it is wet it's going to thin out it's going to be a lot weaker and it's going to be a lot more prone to breaking try to wait until your hair is at least 70 to 80 percent dry before going in with a hairbrush and brushing out your hair and since we're on the topic of brushing your hair you never want to start brushing your hair from the top down because what happens is if you have some knots in between here and here you're all you're gonna do is gonna start tugging on those knots you're gonna damage your hair you're gonna make your hair a lot weaker and it's gonna be more vulnerable to breakage and split ends yada 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 you've heard me say this a ton of times i'm sure a ton of you guys in the comment section are gonna be saying take a shot for every time she says breakage and split ends I know you guys all too well. So what you want to do is take all of your hair and start brushing it out at the ends. You wanna gently brush it out and make sure that there are no knots. And when you feel like you are going through your hair without getting stuck, you can go a little bit higher, a little bit higher, and a little bit higher until you get to the top. This is the safest and most gentlest way of brushing your hair. And this will minimize breakage and split ends. Let's talk hair extensions. So as most of you you may already know I have my own hair extension company it's called fancy hair and my company manufactures high quality 100% Remy human hair clip-in hair extensions so as much as I love my hair extensions and I love wearing them and I love the look it gives my hairstyles I try not to wear them so often what happens is if you're wearing hair extensions and it doesn't matter if they're clip-ins or tape-ins or fusions that constant weight that you're putting on your hair is going to loosen your hair shaft from the hair follicle make your hair a lot more weaker and make it more prone to falling out over time so when I do wear my hair extensions I make sure that I don't wear them for longer than 6 to 12 hours 12 hours being the absolute very most I always remove them before I go to bed and before washing my hair so this is actually one of the main reasons why I decided to make high quality clip-in hair extensions is because in my opinion out of all of the hair extensions on the market clip-ins are the safest because you can remove them and put them into your hair at any time so they are by far the least damaging hair extensions to your hair so if you're looking for high quality hair extensions that won't damage your hair and won't cause your natural hair to fall out I'd highly recommend investing in a good set of clip-in hair extensions next I want to talk about a couple of ingredients that may be hiding in some of your hair care products that are drying out and damaging your hair and the two main ingredients I want to talk about are alcohol and sulfates sulfates more importantly because sulfates are very very stripping there are certain alcohols that are actually fatty alcohols like seteryl alcohol or sterile alcohol which nourishes your hair and gives it a protective coating but some alcohols can also be very stripping and drying so make sure you do your research make sure that you are looking for hair products that are free of these damaging alcohols and sulfates and I promise you your hair will thank you so in the beginning of this video I mentioned that there are four things that are required in my opinion to facilitate rapid hair growth minimizing breakage minimizing split ends stimulating your hair follicles and maintaining proper nutrition so when talking about nutrition you want to make sure that you have a balanced diet that is complete with healthy fats and lean protein when I'm talking about healthy fats I'm talking about unsaturated fats unsaturated fats come from avocados from nuts and seeds, fish, uh, a ton of oils. Lean proteins include turkey, chicken, um, lean fish, seafood. Protein is extremely important for building up all of the necessary building blocks that your hair needs to grow. If you guys didn't know, your hair is basically made from protein. It's a type of protein called keratin. As you can imagine, if your hair can not be properly nourished and grow properly if you are insufficient in protein. Healthy fats are also really important because it promotes elasticity it makes your hair shinier it makes it overall more manageable so that's why in my opinion I think that those two things healthy fats and lean proteins are super important for maintaining healthy hair next I want to talk about a couple of supplements that have really really helped me grow my hair a lot faster now, I want to put in a quick disclaimer that I am not a doctor I am not a medical professional so I would highly recommend doing your research first in 
and asking your medical care provider if these supplements are safe to take for you and if so at what quantity so the first supplement that i have been taking is biotin this is by the brand naka i usually notice a huge change in the overall length and thickness of my hair after about a month or two of taking this now i did mention this in a previous video but with biotin you want to be very very careful because some people are sensitive to it and it can cause you to break out so if it does cause you to break out i'd recommend starting off with a very very small dose of like 300 micrograms and slowly slowly build up your dosage and drink plenty of water drinking plenty of water will make sure that it's going to keep you hydrated and it's going to keep the breakouts at bay and another thing i wanted to mention is that the breakouts are only temporary after about a month or two your body will get used to it and your breakouts should go away another supplement that i swear by for really helping my hair grow faster is bamboo if you guys don't know bamboo is the strongest source of silica out of anything in the world and silica is a very very important nutrient to promote collagen and elastin production it makes your hair stronger more resilient less prone to breakage i definitely noticed that my hair grows in much stronger after taking this supplement and this one in particular is a great one it's by solar ray and it has 70 percent organic silica another supplement that i swear by that again i threw out because i'm sorry guys i just i just can't hoard things when i run out of them as soon as i run out of something i need to recycle it or discard it because i can't have those empty bottles and packages just laying around and taking up space so i'm really really sorry i didn't have a chance to go out and buy a new tub of hydrolyzed collagen but i will leave a picture of the one that i use or the one that i usually use right over here i tend to circulate between the hydrolyzed collagens that i use but this one by neocell i use the most it's very very high quality i definitely notice a huge difference after a couple of weeks of using it it is amazing for everything for your hair your skin your nails your joints it's super easy to take i just put a scoop of it into a liter of water first thing in the morning every day and i just chug the entire bottle of water before having breakfast it works best on an empty stomach because it absorbs better that way and i definitely see a huge difference in the overall rate of hair growth that i experience when taking that supplement so let's say that you are a vegan or a vegetarian and it's really really hard for you to incorporate healthy lean proteins into your diet but you really really want to facilitate hair growth and still get lean proteins into your body without sacrificing your dietary restrictions when that happens i would recommend looking into a very very high quality vegan protein my personal favorite is this one by sun warrior my husband loves this too this is the warrior blend raw vegan protein it has a complete amino acid profile which is really really important these are basically the building blocks of protein and it really helps with all of the functions in your body and another thing that i love about this product is that it has very very few ingredients all of the ingredients are organic and i actually know what all of these ingredients are all it has is raw organic pea protein raw cranberry protein raw organic hemp seed protein vanilla extract ancient sea salt stevia uh, natural fibers derived from fenugreek and cognac and medium chain triglycerides that's it one scoop has 80 calories and 15 grams of complete protein which is incredible i personally purchased the vanilla flavor because this is the one that my husband likes and i'm kind of indifferent to vanilla or chocolate even though i prefer chocolate a little bit more i make the sacrifice because my husband only only drinks vanilla so the vanilla one is still really really good so if you guys are a vanilla fan i definitely recommend this flavor because it's delicious and lastly one of the most important things that i could tell you to do do if you want to grow your hair long and strong fast is to drink plenty of water water is so important for all of the functions in our body we can't survive without water so water is very imperative for the overall health of our bodies and the health of our hair and skin and nails i try to drink between two and three liters of water every single day and that's what i recommend most people to do and i promise you it will do wonders for your hair and your body. 
All right, guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really hope that you enjoyed all of the content that I put out for the year 2017. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video and for watching all of my videos in this last year and for showing all of your love and support. I wanna wish you guys a happy and healthy new year. I hope that all of your hair goals and hair dreams come true. And I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the new year.